Hello, I'm Claire from Creative The Otter Way. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stamping Up in the UK. Thank you for joining me. Um, I've got, well, I'm redoing really, a make that I've done before. It's this tiny little box. This one's got a punched um, large daisy on it. Um, and this time today, I'm gonna jazz it up a bit and make a Christmas version with Eden's Garden. So it's just a six by six piece of paper. Um, these are the instructions. As you can see, they're really, really simple. It's just a six by six piece of paper, score on all four sides at two inches, score diagonally in each corner, um, which I'll show you on camera, um, cut the corners off, push it in all together. Job done. The only thing you will also need is a two inch circle and then something that you're going to put on here. So it could be the daisy, it could be a ribbon, a bow, anything like that just to make it the special occasion that you need. So I really like six by six um, pieces of paper. Um, some of my friends who do scrapbooking struggle with the six by six for that very reason because um, they like big sheets. I think possibly because I'm quite short, I'm not even five foot, although I pretend I am. Um, I really like little things. I like um, miniature everything. So I really like six by six paper. This of course, Eden's Garden is extra sparkly. It's special paper that's got little gold bits on. This is just one of the sheets that I've got. Um, Let's see, so you've got your six by six. Obviously this starts as a 12 um, by 12 piece of paper. So by the time you've cut it down, you've got four from one sheet, which again is a bonus. So you are gonna score on all four sides at two inches. So really simple to do. Just turn your square around each time and score at two inches and you'll see it comes together really nicely. Last one, and that effectively cuts your square into nine smaller squares. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Now we're gonna concentrate on diagonal now because what we're gonna do is put a score line here and a score line here. So the best way to do that is turn your paper diagonally on your scorer so make sure the point is there and make sure the other point is there and again using your score I just score each corner so I'm actually lifting the blade up slightly as I go over the middle hang on Rose so the kitty cat's asking to go out let's see if I can get away with doing the other score line before she meows again so I've just turned the paper, lifting the um, scorer up as I go over the middle so that there's no score line in the middle. And then I've done the other side. Can you see? So there's now a score line in each corner, but no score line in these boxes or the middle one. Next thing, turn it diagonally again. We're gonna cut off each corner. So from this, just concentrate on each square. So you're going from this point here to this point here, and this time you're cutting. So you end up with that shape cut off and you're gonna turn the paper around and again, do that on all four corners. Hang on, I'm nearly there, it's a quick make. That one, so that's two corners. It's all right, darling, hang on. Let me do the corners and then I will come and rescue you. This corner. So one more to go. And then you think, how on earth is this gonna turn into that little box? Okay, so now let me move the cutter out the way so you can see what shape we've got. So we've got this shape, we've just cut four corners off. So now we're going to burnish all our lines, 
okay so you're just folding over you can use your bone folder if you want to and the side bits just go with the school line so you get that effect there okay. so you might have to guide it a bit just so you get a nice crisp thing so that one is there so you're just turning your paper around and doing it in all the corners and just firming so you, you end up with a bit of a shape like a cross okay now the next thing that I would do is put this circle on so you've punched out your two inch circle fold it in half and burnish across there and then you're going to need some glue put glue on one half of the circle oh is it coming out yay okay put that under one of the squares doesn't matter which one the half with the glue tuck it under and just press that down so now one of your sides has got this little bit so now what you do is bring it in as though you're just going to make a square like that if I just move that out of the way that you can see now with your fingers Rose hang on just push the sides in to make your little box okay so you end up with that now you can once you've pushed them in and you're sure of where they are just press on them just so that it knows next time so that is your box now it's up to you how you fasten it um, you could do it with velcro you could do it with a bit of string tied around or a bit of ribbon tied around you could do a little magnetic closure um, that's a lot from a little box it depends depends what's your whatever takes your fancy i'm just going to do some velcro dots on this one so i'm going to put that one on there put that one on there just because i've got them to hand and that's my little little box okay now i saw a fellow demo uh, where did i put that rose beep beep babe where she had cut some of the cotton paper spritzed it and then wet it and then dried it around a pencil does that make sense and it made the most beautiful ribbon so, will mine? Probably not. Although that's not bad. Look. So, let's have a look. Now, this was done under duress with the help of two cats. They really quite liked the water spray. So, we had a bit of fun with that. Okay, let's see how many we've got. Get them all and see if we can make some sort of topper. They're nearly there. I think they've um, I've left them to dry too long and now they're stuck. It's like they're glued to my pencil. Thanks for your help, Rose. Okay, so I think maybe, I think I'm just going to put a bit, of, little bit of glue on each bit and see what happens. Oh, that's too much glue. Let's get rid of some of that with my finger. Let's get another one. Oh. So, put that one like that. I think this might be too big. be good on top of a box I don't know let's have a look I've just put three strips at the minute oh 
it's not bad. Okay, let's put it on there and see what it looks like. It's okay. I feel like it needs a bit of something else though as well. I'm not sure what. A bit of gold, that's what it needs. Like a gold snowflake or something. That would be nice. Okay, let's leave it at that. Not the best bow or decoration, but it's okay. We can have a play with that. The idea is the box. Hopefully you got how to do the box. Really quick, really simple. Fit a lint chocolate or Ferrero Rocher, something like that in there. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you liked my video, very quick one this time, click on subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thank you, bye.